What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction. Back with some more Andy Gibb at long last. And I do appreciate the patience with this, but we're up to the final two tunes of the album as Luca gets in a nice stretch. And the album in question is Flowing Rivers, 1977, correct? Yes, 77. Uh, also, and I'll show it to you at the end of this video, shout out to Amy who sent me a copy of uh, a Bee Gees album which has a, a sleeve and a gatefold sleeve you won't believe, so uh, we'll look at that after this video. But yeah, this, or not after this video, after this reaction, before the end of the video, otherwise you wouldn't see it. But yeah, the next tune is Let It Be Me, which sounds like the person in question is aware that some other person has different options or different paths they might walk and ultimately this person would like it to be them. It sounds like it's a, a plea to someone who is maybe less certain about wanting that connection. So we'll see if that has anything to do with that. This is Let It Be Me. Is it the right side? This is the right side. Uh, Let It Be Me by Andy Gibb from his 1977 album Flowing Rivers. Or it would be... Play through the full duration. It's like I feel like it's the, 
feel like there's like a pre-chorus and a post-chorus. Like I was unsure of exactly how long the chorus was, like which parts comprised it, because that breakdown section with a bit of funk, that part really had the most funk in the tune. That's what I thought was the chorus when it first went around. And I realized there were lines that, you know, they weren't verses, they were coming before that each time. So, um, yeah, cool and uh, interesting composition or structure. Uh, the guitar again, I'm assuming there was a pedal or something, it had that kind of wah-wah effect the whole time and especially as I said during that one syncopated part that would get a bit more forceful, uh, definitely had a funk element that uh, seemed to be coming from the guitar as well. And yeah, it's interesting because it feels like it's pretty much exactly what I thought, but he's not in as much of the... Uh, confusion or he's not as uncertain it feels like he he's in a position where he can have an experience with this woman but he doesn't know even then if that's what will lead him to um, be with her if he'll you know if it will indeed be him so yeah uh it felt like a a really interesting like cross-section of uh, a relationship or a potential relationship but we don't get like the extras we don't get you know what this woman might be you know thinking or what else might be going on so it's a sort of it's a singular narrative but one that suggests a larger story so we're just getting a little slice of it um, but yeah again the idea of being uncertain about what someone will do and the more time that passes the more anxious and you know, unpleasant you feel because it's like, wait, so this isn't reciprocated? I thought it was, like, what is happening? So, yeah, ultimately, um, a song that, like, is fun and has energy, but there's, like, a, a real emotional tension underlying it, which, I, you know, that, I think that um, makes the progression of the tune really work, because it's like, you, you keep hoping there's going to be the, the next part of the story where it's like, and, you know, you chose to come with me and so on, but uh, we don't get the uh, conclusion, at least not that I could pick up on. But let me, again, uh, show you what I have just received. Shout out once again to Amy, who has sent To Whom It May Concern, and get ready for this. I'm trying to think of which way I should hold it. I think this way. Wait for it. It's hilarious. Tell me that's not the most hilarious thing you've seen. I laughed so hard when I opened it. I was like, oh, it's a gatefold burp, and they just came out at me like that. So, yeah, we'll be going through To Whom It May Concern, and again, shout out to all the folks involved in the Bee Gees Deep Dive, which is quite... Um, who are quite numerous, uh, and I love, we, you know, we get their look in the moment here, and then on the back, look at these, look at these little uh, baby faces, so, uh, hilarious. We will, uh, as I said, start going through this very soon, and we will come back for the final tune on Flowing Rivers, which is, appropriately enough, in the end, so we'll look forward to that. Oh, and that reminds me, because I was like, oh, is, is there any more written in part with Barry? No, it's just, you know, the final two... Um, or just Andy, uh, but there was the, those backing vocals, and you know, it might all be Andy, but there was like one or two where I was like, oh man, that really sounds like Barry's falsetto, so was Barry on that one or not? Do let me know. In any case, I will see you next time. Peace.